Hello and welcome back to the Lucky Dice Antiques YouTube channel with your host, Steve. So, this is just another show and tell video and things I've bought thrifting recently. And um, if you see anything you're interested in, leave me a note in the comments. And uh, if I haven't sold it, we can work something out. As with most of my videos, I have quite a hodgepodge of stuff, no real theme or anything. And uh, yeah, I'm just surrounded by stuff right here. So, let's get started. I'm going to start with something sitting here on my lap. And it's this. And it's wood, some sort of tray. I was wandering th with these weird symbols on it. There, too. I was wandering through Goodwill and stumbled across this and pulled it out because it was weird and interesting. And it was like five bucks. And I'm like, what the, what the crap, you know? But I did a lens search on it and determined that it actually does have some value. This was made, surprisingly enough, by uh, Blakely Oil and Gas in Arizona. It was a chain of gas stations. And like a lot of gas stations did back then, they had um, glasses, drinking glasses, that they gave away. And the ones Blakely did were unique to Arizona. They were frosted glass with cactus or other things um, related to Arizona on them. And uh, then they also made this tray on which you could display your eight drinking glasses. And then I think in the middle here, here I think uh, went some sort of a pitcher or carafe or something. But anyway, it's gonna be difficult to ship given its size. I mean, I don't normally ship things this big. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Um, keep an eye out for Blakely glasses out there, especially if you're in Arizona. Uh, if you're in Arizona, you probably know to look for those um, if you're a reseller. But uh, they are, apparently, from what I've seen on eBay uh, sales and such, they are very rare. And uh, so, as are the trays. So, uh, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Okay. Now that I got that off my lap, balancing there, uh, we'll dive into this stuff that I'm surrounded with over here. Um, so I have two of these. And they're not, they were not printed upside down. I'm holding it upside down here. Let me fix that. There we go. And it is the Monroe County, which is where I live, by the way, Monroe County, Indiana, Bloomington. Monroe County Fall Festival uh, play celebrating the 23rd annual festival, which was held in 1962. I bought these locally for a good price, but I don't know that I'll have any luck selling them. Because the thing is, like, and so why did I buy it? Well, because it's old. I mean, 1962, that's older than me by seven years. And uh, in great shape, which is not uncommon because people take people that bought these took care of them because they were a keepsake from the time they bought them. Um, but the possibility of selling them I think is low because, um, well, what, I'm sorry, I just noticed this plate also says Ellisville's 125th anniversary in 1962. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know who's going to want these plates now unless they made these plates every year for the fall festival and somebody's looking to, or, you know what, if I can't sell them, maybe I'll, that one's not upside down either. I mean, it is, but there you go. Uh, maybe I'll donate them to a museum or something. Uh, at that same sale where I got those plates, I picked these up. Uh, these are nothing vintage or antique or anything. They're plastic plates made by mainstays, but they have this cute owl on them. And my girlfriend loves owls uh, almost as much as she loves me. And uh, so I bought them with her in mind. I don't know if she'll even want them, uh, but they were just so, so stinking cute. I had to pick them up. And this sale was, that I was at was fill a bag. And uh, so I was able to stuff a lot of stuff into my bag. Then I also bought this little kid's uh, John Deere plate and bowl. Whoops, sorry for the noise there. The bowl. Uh, I figured with the being John Deere brand and uh, in really good shape. Again, not vintage or anything, but still might have some resale value. So, okay. One more plate. I just picked this up at Goodwill last night. Again, not vintage, not antique. 
Um, but I thought it was cute. It's a pirate themed plate and I'll just, I guess I'll take myself out of the picture so you can see this instead. Uh, it has all these little dividing things and I thought, man, what a great way to get a kid to eat who's not wanting to eat. If you put like a little goldfish cracker in each one of these and make them go all the way around. I think my grandson would like that and he doesn't always eat the best and maybe this would help him eat better. Uh, but it is made by uh, fredandfriends.com. Fred, all fun and games. So, there you go. And where do I want to go next? Okay, I bought this. This was more for personal. I like these little uh, cedar chests. Um, like, I believe they were salesman samples or, um, uh, yeah, the sales floor might have had them as examples. Uh, but it's, you know, cedar made by Lane. And uh, this says, congratulations from M&N &N Furniture. And uh, so I don't know, maybe it was given as a gift this size. I don't know. I have a couple more of these. They're just handy for keeping things in. And um, I have, you know, I have ones, I have, I can say two more that are stamped with uh, furniture store emblems inside as well, just like this one is, M&N. &N, so... I also, to my right over here, off camera, you can't see it, but I have a full-size Lane Cedar chest that was uh, my mom's that she got when she graduated high school in, well, I won't tell the year because she might not want me to tell you that, so, 1963. Okay, um, I bought a carnival glass punch glass, just one, it's the only one they had, uh, but it's in good condition, no chips or chiggers. I am really working hard to do better inspections in the store because I don't do it. I have not been doing a very good job of that. And I look at something in the store and I'm like, oh yeah. And I feel it and I'm like, yeah, it's fine. And I get it home and there's a huge crack in it I missed. But I scrutinize this in much more closely in the store as I'm doing now as well um, because I just worry that there's gonna be a chip or a crack that I missed. But no, nope, I don't see any, don't feel any. And uh, so yeah, there you go, cheers. And I bought, whoops, oh my gosh, did it break? No, it didn't break. I don't even know what this is. This was in that, this might be a dollhouse thing. Oh, it has a chip in it, but I don't really care. I mean, it didn't have any value anyway. Um, I don't think, I mean, it is made in Japan. I gotta learn which way is up on this thing. There we go, made in Japan, I had it right. It's just hard to read on my screen. Uh, probably like a little dollhouse tea set or something. And it was from the stuff a bag sale. And of course I could stuff that in. And uh, plenty of, you know, no issue stuffing it in the bag. So. And who remembers these? Uh, I certainly remember them. I don't remember what they're made by. Let's see. Uh, Paula? Paula? 1972. Uh, and apparently... Opal Williams got this at some point, well, in June 1998 as a gift or something, but uh, I picked this one up. I picked up two recently. Um, no idea if they have resale value or not. The reason I picked this one up, though, is because it was 49 cents and because she still had her little heart. Sitting right next to her was another one of these little statues, and... Uh, it, it, the heart had broken off. So I thought, well, you know, maybe the hearts tend to break off. So this one has lasted since 1972 and she's kept her heart. So maybe, maybe I can make a nickel or two on it. So, all right. And I, hey, goodwill receipt. <laughs> I need to file that. Uh, I bought this, uh, I got to get the name. Yeah, it's an anchor honking, ink honking, honk, honk. Um, anchor hawking. So I took my glasses off and I forgot to put my contacts in. I took my con or I took my glasses off so they wouldn't glare from the light. Uh, then I forgot to put my contacts in. But yeah, this is anchor hawking oven and microwave safe. I bet you've seen this before. I know uh, my mom used one just like this or similar to this. I don't know if it was just like this when we were kids. I think she made meatloaf in it, which meatloaf sounds really good right now. I haven't eaten today, so. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm still a newbie, so I bought it. I don't know if it has any value. I mean, 
I know it has a little bit of value. I don't know if I'll make money on it or not, but new to this and learning about anchor hawking and Pyrex and Lefton and all those fancy words, you know, I picked this up, so. And, okay, here's that other little statue that I bought recently. Just put them right here together. This says, once a king, always a king, but once a knight is enough. I don't get it. Oh, maybe I get it. No. <laughs> but uh, this one is also by Paula or Fala or Rala, whatever that says. It's really hard to read in that little stamp there. And it's from 1968. But uh, yeah, so there you go. And I bought this little bitty totem pole just because I thought it was cute. Uh, it has, I don't think it has, no, no mark. Well, let's see. No, it was marked like 52 on the bottom, it looks like. Um, and somebody put felt little things on the bottom of it. But um, I don't know. It's, it's wood, and I just thought the three little critters were cute on there. So I bought it. Don't know anything else about it. And I bought a shell. Mother of Pearl shell. Thought it was pretty. It would also make a nice little trinket dish. And there's the back side of it, nice and shiny. And I bought this little bowl. Like I said, I don't know a lot about glass or even like the anchor hawkings and the Pyrex and stuff. So I'm learning. And part of the way I figure to learn is just to buy stuff and figure out what it is. Like, so here's this little. I don't know, candy dish or you know, probably a candy dish since it has the lid. I thought it was really pretty. I have no idea who makes it because, uh, you know, glass manufacturers back in the day just didn't put marks on their things, it seems like, or some of them didn't anyway. But anyway, so there you go. Cute little candy dish. If you uh, know what it is, mention it in the comments. Thanks. And I gotta stack all this stuff so carefully over here. You wouldn't even believe what a mess this is over here. I have a TV tray table and a chair here to sit my stuff in. So I'm sitting it carefully so I don't, whoops, uh, like that, whoops, don't uh, knock anything over, break anything. Uh, I picked this up at uh, the free store, the free exchange at our recycling center. It is a DC Comics action figurine, good size, probably like eight, nine inches tall there. Uh, I looked him up. He's like Martian Man or something. I don't remember now. But uh, surprisingly, I did see where he had sold on eBay a time or two. Uh, without uh, Most of them were selling new in the box, you know, which uh, obviously increases its value. But I did see these selling. So um, I picked him up without knowing and decided if I uh, got him home and he wasn't worth anything, I would just take him back to the free store. But I think he'll stay here and get shipped out somewhere. So... And let's see, just a couple more things to show. I bought two McDonald's glasses. These are commemorating Super Bowl 14 when in Pittsburgh beat Los Angeles 31 to 19. I don't know if you can see that because since it's clear, maybe that helps. Uh, so like with a lot of these, um, people also bought these and saved them, did not use them. I think that's the case with these. They're kind of dusty but otherwise you know they've not been through dishwashers or anything because the art's just still too good on them uh and super bowl 14 was in like i don't know somewhere around 40 years ago i'm not, they're up over super bowl 50 now so uh 40 year old glasses and we'll see and then the last thing i'm going to show is another plate i guess i should have showed this with all the other plates at the beginning um this was also at that rummage sale where I stuffed a bag, and this is a Snowden, I don't know how you say that, I mean Snowden, because um, Snowden sounds like, you know, there's so much snow outside I can't go anywhere, but so it's Snowden, it's got Raggedy and an Andy on it, heart-shaped plate, uh, plastic, uh, so not vintage or anything, uh, well it might be vintage, I don't know can't read any date on there. It says not for microwave use, so it's probably not vintage, but who knows. Um, 
you know, just thought it was a cute little plate to either try to sell at Christmas or at Valentine's, or if you want it now, let me know. So, okay, that's all I have to show today, and uh, thanks for watching, and, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube things if you like, and want to watch more of my videos and know when I post them, that's the key to finding out. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.